In this video, I have to take a look at the checklist chapter very quickly because depending on what airplane you have, it'll be a lot different. So it'll just be kind of an overview of how to use it. So there's two ways to get there. We can either click the checklist soft key. And you'll notice now that we're on the checklist page, there's an emergency soft key that it's changed to. And so if you want to quickly get to the emergency checklist, it'll get you here. And then you can use the knobs to scroll through whichever one you need. So there's the emergency, and then you can go exit. That'll take you back out of the checklist and back to the page that you were previously at. Other way to get the checklist page is to use the big FMS knob and scroll over to the checklist page. Again, you have emergency, and you can quickly get to that if you need it. Now, while we're on the checklist page, just kind of a general of how to use a checklist page on a G1000 or perspective system. If I click on the FMS knob, it'll give me a group. Now, if I use the little or skinny FMS knob, I can change the groups. Let's say I just want before takeoff checklist. I can hit enter. That'll take me to the before takeoff group of checklists. And then I can pick the checklist. So if there's multiple ones in the group, then I can take that one in there. So I can hit enter. So now my cursor is on the first step, which is parking brake set. If I want to move the cursor, I can just use the big knob on the FMS and that'll move it through I can start wherever I want to in the checklist. So whenever I'm ready to check something off, if I've done it, I can click the check button. I can go through all these and check things as I go along. So that's essentially how to use the checklist. Again, now I can move my cursor up here. Let's say I have an emergency. Just to show you the group, because that wasn't a real good group one. If I go up to the emergency, now I go to engine failures. So I can pick from any of these now. Let's say we've got icing. So now we get to the icing checklist. I can go check things off as I go. So that's essentially how to use a checklist. Depending on which airplane you have, everything's going to be vastly different between the groups that they have and the checklists in each group. Mm -hmm.